President Bola Tinubu on Monday sacked his former service chiefs and appointed new ones, including older appointments. Joining us to provide an expert analysis of the development is Mr. Kola Edokpae. He is an human rights activist. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Kola. Thank you very much, sir. Very good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, sir. So quickly, uh, um, President sir. Bola Tinubu on Monday, he fired the nation's former service chief. Inspector General of Police, yeah. Comptroller General of Custom, and appointed new ones. Now, did that come as yes. a surprise for you? Uh, it didn't come as a surprise to me because we have been expecting the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to put a perspective on how the uh, majority of the service chiefs were centered on a particular uh, region. Actually, we do not have uh, any other returns in our country. And for me, like this, uh, the, the service chiefs, they didn't perform woefully. Let us take the issue of uh, security, let us take it into cognizance. What were the achievements? We had a situation whereby uh, terrorists almost uh, defeated the, the, the previous, uh, I mean, terrorists almost defeated a city president. Even in Abuja, even in Abuja, who have uh, the service chiefs, we have the office of the service chiefs, they invaded some part in Abuja. That shows that the people in Shui, hopefully, look at the, 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 the Secretary General of Police, the, the, the previous Secretary General of Police, Baba Kali Usma, who had even retired. But there was even a court order, there was even a valid court order that said that. Say that he should vacate the office. He didn't. He didn't vacate the office because of that valid uh, court order. So, he, he, when that is to say, what the president, what the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria did, is a step in the right direction. You're not supposed to be a look at the, the previous uh, 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 custom boss. Then that has no business. Someone who has retired, someone that has no business, he was appointed by the former president. In fact, I must commend the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ahmed Bola Tinibu, for the steps, for the bold step he took in, in, retiring, in retiring the, the service chiefs, the Secretary General of Police, and the custom, and the custom boss. We need a very, very, we need capable people that will work with the President to make sure that the issue of security, the security challenges address so that the right thing, the right things, the right things are done in order for the president to be elevated to the pedestal as one as a president that really performs. We don't we do not need any cars. We do not need any push out because the person is from the region. You will just engage in the political and cabinet. No. We want somebody that can turn the president to make sure that the the the, the um, okay. okay, Mr. Kola, now let's um, bring yeah. it down to competence. Now, like you mentioned yeah. earlier, the previous um, service chiefs, they had nothing to write home about. Now, what can we say about the competence of the new appointees? You know, they just, they just started. There is no way we can, uh, we can touch them now. Some of them, like the Secretary General of Police, I don't know, they had the, the, the very good a good track record. He was in charge. He was in charge. He was in charge of uh, uh, first first CID first CID before he was appointed as uh, the Inspector General of the Acting Inspector General of Police. He served as a commander in the in Mopo, in, in Mopo Fire, something like that. He, had, he was a commissioner of police that performed excellently well. Uh, which is about, based on his appointment as the Inspector the Artist, Inspector General of Police, we are optimistic that he's going to do well. Uh, like others, like in law, you say, never that what not happen. You don't give us what you don't have. Let us give them at least what is there, at least 90 days before we can begin to assess whether they are, we can come, before we can begin to judge whether they are performing excellently well or not. All right. Now, um, President Buhari was accused of being biased. Now, um, yes. towards the North and the Muslim in terms of appointment. 
Now, would you say Tinubu's yes. appointment satisfies better demographics, including this um, latest it, ones? I can't get to, I didn't get your question correctly, please. Now, President Buhari was accused of being biased yes, towards the North. Yes, yeah, yes, the yes. Most, now, would you say yes. um, Tinubu was actually, you know, his appointment satisfied other demographics? Uh, for me, for me, let's begin, let's stay, let's give him time. But because it's, it's, his appointment so far is, uh, you know, when a president is elected, they want to, if I appoint those people, the thoughts can uh, deliver for them. People, the thoughts can work effective. People, the thoughts can be free out of them. They, want, they, 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 they pick people from their tribes. With the few appointments the president has made so far, the few appointments he has made so far, majority of majority of those appointed are from a specific um, a region. Let's give him time to see the results of the appointment of ministers and other appointments that will be made before we can order with our president to the same line with his uh, predecessor or a change in narrative. So um quickly. Well, so far, I'm say, so far, so far, I'm say that the, the eastern part of the country is still marginalised. The appointment so far has not the appointment the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has made so far in fact didn't include the, uh, the, uh, people from the eastern region of the country. We want this opportunity to to call on Mr. President not to follow the full step of his predecessor. Let's look extend the appointment to the eastern part of the country to reduce, to reduce the level of self-determination and agitation. All right, um, Mr. Or Kola. agitation of marginalization. So, um, quickly, tell us, what um, is your expectation from this new um, appointee, this new team? You know, is that? Mr. Kola. Hello? Yeah, I said, yeah. what is your expectation from this new, you know, appointee? Yes, we just want my expectation is for them to to deliver uh, for them to at least mostly the security talent, the security talent we have is to make sure that the average Nigerian company is to make sure that we they provide security to the extent that we can travel from the Benin city to Abuja by road. To make sure that all we need is security. We don't know what the situation where the uh, because uh, those that are terrorizing, those that are terrorizing the people, the terrorists are uh, from the same region with uh, the president who begin to give them professional treatment. We want those that are terrorists, those that are troubling our nation, those that are littering our our, our streets, the streets of the nation with the blood of the people. They should be dead to it according to the law. There should be no second now. Um, thank you so much, Mr. Kola, for coming on the news. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you.